Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today, again, with a packing puzzle. I can't help myself, but this month is really the packing puzzle month. And I, for some reason, I like those puzzles more and more. And therefore, I just got a new one. It's called the Ugly 4. And it was made and designed by Bovida Stimats from Croatia. Which makes this puzzle actually, I think, the first puzzle ever from Croatia I review here on my channel. It looks pretty cool and interesting. And therefore, I thought I just have to give it a try. By the way, this thing is still sealed. So let me just open it up. Let's get the pieces out. And also the name. The name is quite interesting for a jigsaw puzzle. Ugly 4. We'll learn in a minute why. Difficulty rating, by the way, 10 out of 10. So this thing should be seriously difficult. Material is acrylic. It's not shiny. It's like a dull surface, which I personally like very much. Since it's a packing puzzle, the task is to fit all of these pieces inside of this frame. And it's called Ugly 4 because it contains four misshaped pieces, which look like they fit pretty much nowhere. Where's the last one? Um, maybe this one, I, th I would assume. This one looks pretty much like it had one drink too much last night. <laughs> so these are probably the Ugly 4 and they somehow need to fit in here together with the other 22 pieces. And that's pretty much everything what this puzzle is about. There's another one, it's called Cat 8 from the same designers. And if you're interested to get one of these puzzles, I put your link in the video description where I got them from. And before I gonna start with this puzzle here, I will also present you a gadget, of course. And this is this gadget here. You've probably seen this before, I'm not sure but I like this so much, I just have to show it to you. These items here are called solids of constant width, okay? And what's pretty fascinating is that no matter from where you look at this item, if you draw a line from one side to another side, which is perpendicular to the surface, you always have the same length. It's hard to imagine, actually, if you see the shape of these things and they actually don't roll around, as you can see, but it's easy to prove that those things are really solids of constant width. And this is, and therefore I prepared this sheet of glass. If you put this on the top, apply some pressure and roll it around, you can see how they behave and that the glass is not moving up and down at all. I'm gonna show this to you also from the side. From here, you are probably able to understand much better what I try to explain. So if I apply some pressure here and move it around, you can see that the glass is actually moving completely in parallel to the surface or the surface of my desk. So this is working pretty much like a sphere. There's a small movement up and down, but this is only due to the texture of this sheet. It's not because of the items themselves. And this is just so satisfying. You can see even if one shape is turning different as the other ones, the movement of the glass remains absolutely the same. So no matter if this piece is like so, like so, or maybe somehow in between, they are always exactly the same height. This sounds pretty complicated, but it's actually much easier than you might think to design something like this, just to explain it to you. So you can imagine um, if you have kind of a triangle and then you draw like three circles I do this by hand right now, so <laughs> it's not very precise. However, like three circles that are like so, this shape in here, yeah, this is basically, whoa, this is basically a so-called relieu triangle. And on this triangle, every distance from every point, as I mentioned, that's perpendicular to the surface. So from here to here, from here to there, whatever direction, is constant but this is only 2d but if you now draw a axis through here and rotate this by 360 degrees what you get is exactly this and that's it this is how these things are designed and made so pretty simple if you know how solids of constant width but today is of course about a puzzle not about a gadget and yeah i said everything about this puzzle i had to and after the spoiler break you're gonna see my first attempt trying to solve the ugly four Okay, so I just placed them, beautifully arranged, I think you agree. And let's let's just start and analyze what we got here. So let's first look at corner pieces as you would do in a regular jigsaw puzzle. Okay, so we got one, two, 
three. And I assume of course that this frame need to be completely filled with pieces without gaps. So we got four corner pieces, any more maybe? No, okay, so. Then we know already that um, we have 26 pieces. If we would have five times five pieces, it would be 25. So we got 26. This means some of the pieces are probably arranged in a very strange way of like, um, maybe something like, like this or like, like this. In some kind of an irregular way, okay? So definitely not a clean five by five pattern or something similar. So what I will do in the first place is now I will try to understand what pieces need to be connected to the corner pieces. I think this is probably uh, something pretty much everyone would do. Let's place the four ugly guys over there. Here we go. And I think this piece here, I saw a piece just a second ago, which looks like it would fit in here. No, it does not. But here, why I'm focused on this one, because it's a small gap and a small gap, if I look at the pieces, you can conclude that in this gap, there would definitely not fit two pieces beside each other or something like that. So I will just look for a small piece that's small enough to fit in here. Maybe this one. Here we go. I think these two belong together. Yeah, if you, if you check this, this looks like it's made to fit each other perfectly. Now I notice this detail here, and this looks very much like another piece. Maybe this one, no, but not sure what piece to combine it with. Um, let me just check. This also looks very strange. Not sure what fits in here, but because this is like a rectangle here on this side. Will it make sense to fit somewhere? Mm, not, not sure. Not sure how to integrate that. So let, let's see. Let's see what piece belongs here. Uh, it's probably a very small connector. I think it's this one. Yes, here we go. So this looks also right. Here we go. This definitely not belongs here. I would assume probably this one belongs here. No. Maybe this one. Ooh. Yeah, so up to now, pretty straightforward, I think. Here we go. So up to now, this looks really, well, it feels rather simple. Actually, these are all ugly pieces. This one, this one, this one, this one. So um, not sure. I think it's the ugly five, actually, <laughs> not ugly four. I definitely see, I'll see at minimum five ugly pieces here. Not only four, here we go, next one. What? What's going on, guys? What belongs in here? I mean, oh, maybe this one. Ah, oh, it fits also here. <gasps> okay, even better than on this one. Oh, this was sneaky. But this fits also perfectly, I mean. Uh oh, I hope there are not multiple configurations possible for some pieces, this would mess my strategy completely up what about these ugly guys here maybe this one over here yeah here we go it belongs here so now it makes sense again okay now i learn learn it the hard way this puzzle seems to be difficult i will just check now all the pieces to understand what could fit in here because this seems to be to me, to me some like some of the key parts this possible so let's start here this one no this one no no why oh, i don't get it i can't see any part fitting in here i think that this puzzle this piece can fit somewhere it's pretty much impossible maybe i did something wrong here in the center i don't know let me check what other pieces would fit maybe in here i will now check all the pieces yeah. None of the pieces, none of the pieces. Maybe this one? No. No. None of the pieces fit in here. I think it's the same as for this one. Yeah. Also no partner for this one. Uh 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 uh. Huh? This one fits perfectly. 
There must also be a partner for the other side. Here. 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 Ah, right in front of my eyes. Here's the big connector, of course. So, these belong together. But nothing can fit in here. Oh, I think I just got an idea. Ooh, oh, guys, I, I think I, I got it. I think I got the trick. This would be super sneaky. <laughs> super sneaky. So, what if? Imagine, what if, since this does not belong or can't connect to anything, because it's just too sharp, nothing can fit in here. What if this is a corner piece or a piece on the edge? Actually, it can't be on the edge must be on a corner like so maybe what if this is correct we're gonna find out next week <laughs> no just kidding so um we're gonna do this today and right now of course now i go again piece by piece by piece because this is one of the ugly guys and this connects so well to the other two so i think those belong together not sure where obviously not here but maybe somewhere else okay this would be the sneakiest trick ever, I tell you. Um, so, where do we go? Here we go. What do you think about this? Ha! Looks good! <laughs> okay, I'm now in a puzzled mood, you know. So, uh, another corner piece, please. Here we go. Okay, let's focus here a bit more on the ugly ones. Is this an ugly one? This one is not ugly, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this one I also saw before. Where's this ugly one? Oh, yes, it can. It can. Bam! Which one belongs here? Come on. Oh, I'm stuck again. I'm stuck again. Which one belongs here? This is also very interesting and unique shape. Here we go. Bam! I mean, this comes together so well. But this, which one goes in here? Come on, guys. No, none of the pieces fit in there. I think this one is wrong. I think this belongs here. I mean, this fits so perfectly up there. Wait, wait, I just saw something. <gasps> oh, man, this is so sneaky. Look at this. You see this? This looks it fit, like it fits perfect. This one belongs here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This one belongs here or here <laughs> or maybe somewhere else. I'm pretty much sure this belongs here. I mean, this this I mean, this this straight edge is clear, makes it clear. What could fit in here? Or, yeah, no. It must be something with a straight edge. Is this one maybe wrong here? Yes. Okay. Now I got a clear shape, and it's this one. You see? This one goes in here. This one goes over there. Now I got it, guys. This was the final missing piece. This one goes in here. And three. Oh, I saved the ugly one for the, for the, oh, two ugly ones remaining. Yeah, and one to go. Here we go, puzzle solved. Man, this was tricky. This was this was seriously tricky in the end. So initially I thought, what an easy puzzle. It's so straightforward. And then I noticed, okay, there must be something difficult. And this, this detail here in the corner, which does not fit at all in the corner, kind of, I have to admit, it looks kind of unsatisfying when it's finished due to this. 
but still a very difficult puzzle and if you don't get this thing here where this belongs you can it can take you forever however it happened it happened in around i think like 45 minutes roughly 45 minutes as i said it's a difficult puzzle it's not super difficult so i would rate it with a four out of a maximum of five definitely a challenge and definitely you need to get the right clues to make it happen and get it together hope you also liked or could follow how i found the solution in the end if you like what you've seen, if you like this video, if you like this puzzle, hit the like button and watch out also for hopefully Friday's puzzle if I'm able to solve this one. Make sure not to miss it and until next time, keep on puzzling!